Hey guys, uh, thanks for checking out my first video on my Lightroom editing process. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust the uh, exposure. And some people use the uh, little sliders down the bottom, but I've always learnt to use the kind of histogram at the top here, so that's just kind of the way I've been doing it. I'll adjust the exposure, the, the highlights, the shadows, just to get them where I like them. And I'm going to be pressing the backslash key a lot to see the before and after, just to see where I'm at in the, in the edit. And um, I'm going to adjust the white balance. And I'm not really doing anything creative with the colors here, I'm just kind of trying to get a neutral white balance. And then I'm going to get more into the, the colors later on. Just the contrast a bit, the clarity. I'll usually either put it, I'll, if I'm working with a female model, I'll usually put it down. But in this case, I'm going to put it up um, so that the details are a bit more sharp. And then I'm going to soften the face afterwards, uh, just, uh, just alone, to kind of compensate for the clarity that I'm putting into the face. It makes it look a bit more gritty. The tone curves, um, just always playing around with them a little bit. I create three nodes on that line there, and I'm just adjusting them. It's pretty much like the highlights, midtones, and shadows. And then this one at the bottom, I bring that up a little bit to get the shadows faded, which is a bit of a look that I like. I'll toggle just that effect on and off with that little button at the top there just to see what it's doing and I'm not really liking what it's doing to the skin tones at the moment so I'm still just trying to play around with it, try and get it where I like it I'm just deleting these control points, seeing how they look always doing experimenting and that's looking a bit better just the shadows a bit again always just keep adjusting everything as I go looking at the before and after so I'm still just adjusting the tone curves again because uh, adjusting the midtones and highlights has given me a bit of a look on the skin that I don't really like I mainly just used the cone curve to get that faded the faded shadows kind of look which is uh, that the bottom node on the left side, bringing that up a bit, will kind of fade the blacks in. Now I'm going to go all the way down to camera calibration, and this is where I kind of get more creative with the colors. And I'm just I'll slide the hue to one extreme just to see what it's doing, and then the side that I like best, I'll just go a little bit to that side. You know, subtlety is key, and then I'll usually drop the saturation a bit. Um, depends on the photo. And then I'll turn it turn it on and off, just like that, to see what that specific effect is doing. Then I'm going to go to the hue, just the hues, kind of individually. The skin tone is a little bit uh, a little bit magenta, I think, for me. So I was just putting, making it a bit more natural looking. Just playing around with the red hue. Then I'm going to go to saturation and just kind of desaturate the skin a little bit because it was a little bit. A little bit saturated for me. I'm going to go back to here and uh, chuck the greens up. It's a little bit hard to see because the greens are really dark in the shadows, but there's some green leaves in there that I like to make the greens kind of uh, very almost bluey and then make them be kind of dark with luminance. But I don't really need to do that here because they're already really dark in the shadows. Actually, put uh, put the luminance up a little bit for the greens here. And I'll usually change the color of the skin tones as well in luminance. Looking at the before and after, see where I'm up to. Split toning, I'm going to put a little bit of blue in the shadows. I'll go up to the top and see like the color really clearly 
first and then I'll take the kind of saturation or whatever of the color and just make it really subtle and then I'm looking at that these a little bit more I'm going to go up to 6 saturation that just adds a little tiny bit of coolness to the shadows that I kind of like the look of so now I'm going to go in with the adjustment brush I'm going to get soften skin and then just kind of make it not not as intense make, bring the clarity up a little bit I'm going to put a color on it I put it on red so just so that I can see what I'm doing when I'm painting on the skin it'll go on red so I can see where I painted clearly and then I'll get rid of the color so that it's not making the skin red so I'm just trying to get the right brush at the moment needs a bit more feathering and then I'm going to go ahead and paint over the skin because earlier when we increased the clarity it's going to increase the, increase the clarity of the entire image and I kind of like the look of a little bit more clarity on kind of details and plants and maybe the hair but it doesn't look as good on the skin when, especially when it's a female model it kind of makes the skin look kind of more dirty so I'll counteract that by just painting the softened skin on the just the face of the model to smoothen it out a little bit and I'll also sometimes uh, brighten the skin tone up just a tiny little bit so that the face is kind of it's more bright and it stands out more against the background draws your eye to it the brightest point in the image I went over the line a little bit here, so I'll just get rid of that. You don't have to be too exact with this, since it's a very subtle effect. You can get away with not being perfect. So you can see I've kind of left out that little bit of hair there, just roughly. Don't have to be too perfect. And then I'll get rid of the red so she no longer looks like a clown and then I'll just adjust that clarity slider see where it's at see how much I like it by default the softened skin the clarity is at negative 100 I think and that's really it's too much you know you can really see it and it looks kind of gives you the airbrushed effect which kind of I'm not really a fan it's uh, I like to be a little bit more subtle and you see I'm adjusting the exposure now to just get like a little tiny bit of brightness in there or and it's a bit hard to adjust the exposure a really small amount so I just type it in it's gonna go just a tiny bit 0 0.05 just so it's a little tiny bit brighter now I'm gonna make a new adjustment brush I'm gonna go to iris enhance and this basically just brightens up uh, brightens up a little bit and increases the saturation and I'm just gonna brush over the the color part of the eyeball just to kind of make them shine a little bit more pop out a little bit more and again subtlety is key I'm not gonna go too far with this just a little tiny bit more exposure and a little bit more saturation I'm gonna go with about 19 there 19 saturation and I'll go do the other eye and then this little button at the bottom I'm toggling the adjustment layers on and off so the skin and the eyes just to see what that looks like and I'm happy with that so I'll look at the before and after of the whole picture and it's looking good and I'm going to go crop it and I'm editing this picture for Instagram so with the 
cropping aspect ratio I'm going to go by with 4x5 because that's the portrait aspect ratio that Instagram uses and when I'm cropping I kind of I like to look at the crop in the in the main viewing uh, area and also the little icon at the top left I don't know why it just helps me kind of visualize what it's going to look like at, at the end when I've cropped it um, and also when it's a bit smaller which is how it's going to be viewed on Instagram before someone clicks on it. It's going to be a little thumbnail and uh, it just helps me. So I'm kind of putting one of the eyes on that uh, rule of thirds line so it's not perfectly centered, it's off centered, so it's not as symmetrical. And uh, give it another before and after look just to see how it looks with that crop. I'm going to increase the whites a little bit. Now I'm getting close to being finished, I'm just kind of scrolling through, looking at all my settings. I think I'm going to add a little bit of uh, vignette, only very subtle, just so that this, the edges are a little bit darker, draws your eyes to the center. So here's the before and after side by side, that's what it looks like. Not anything incredible, but subtlety is key, just, you know, in accentuating what's already there is uh, the subtlety of portraiture editing and you know everyone has their own styles you can do take what you would like from this I just would like to share what I do this is how I go about it you know with my Lightroom editings alright so thanks a lot for watching to the end I appreciate that I'll link uh, my Instagram and everything in the description if you want to go and check out my Instagram and uh, this image will probably be probably be up by the time you go have a look. Alright, see you later.